All right. Hey folks, uh, Steve here. And putzing around the trailer today, uh, today's been a busy day actually. It's uh, almost six o'clock now. I got home around four and uh, started at eight, was it? Well, started at 7.30 uh, over to Home Depot by eight. Met a homeowner and my buddy that we do construction together with and picked up materials, took them over to her house uh, on a job that'll start soon. It's a double bathroom renovation, roughly a $25,000 job, but eh, $7,000, $8,000 of it is controllable allowance money that the homeowner is actually spending. So we took that right out of our proposal and we're down to about 16, uh, 2000 of it is, um, I guess you'd call it fixed material costs, and the remainder is labor to accomplish all of that. And hopefully I nailed the numbers uh, because I did this one. Um, I can't blame my buddy. When my buddy does my blame him. So why didn't we make any money? It's because of you, man. <laughs> this one, on me. All in all. Then from there, uh, uh, both uh, my buddy and I took off and we went to a different job site where we were wrapping up some uh, tile wall board, backer board. I put the uh, backer board down on the floor and I did the plumbing while he uh, taped, mudded and taped uh, the, the drywall in a bathroom that we're doing or for, it seems like we're bathrooms these days. Um, so uh, anyway, it was a productive day, got the job site super cleaned up, uh, basically because we're in the put back phase now and so we're able to really do a, an awesome cleanup. So with that, I scrambled at the job site to kind of jam everything in here, put it away. After he took off, I actually, I was, uh, I was roadside uh, in front of their house. No one's living there at the moment. And I had a moment to just say, you know what, let's just put stuff away. And I had a minute. I had five. I had 10. I had 15 minutes. And so I just put stuff away. And I felt so much better when I pulled into my house, which is where I'm at around four o'clock in the afternoon. And I knew if I opened up the trailer door, it was where it needed to be. So what am I doing now? Well, let me flip this around. I'll show you what I'm doing right now. Oops, there's my backyard. Ooh, my backyard looking awesome, looking awesome. Well, I know it's all patchy, but from the pit it was about two months ago, this is awesome. <laughs> All right, so in here, you know, so I turn around and it looks like it's all discombobulated, but there is a method to this madness. So I just wanted to reorganize my blade. I guess this is my saws and blades box or drawer, saw, blades, drawer. So I just reorganized that. I put all of my uh, multi-tool blades together, got my uh, uh, jigsaw blades together. These are my specialty multi-tool blades, my coping saw blades. Uh, drywall saw I was using yesterday when we were wrapping up the drywall. Uh, sorted out, I had four coping saws in here. So I'm down to the two that I like. And hacksaw, that's an insulation saw right down there for rocks wool insulation. I uh, love to use that stuff. High density, uh, really does a good job. So anyway, I uh, did that. And because of that, it generated just some overflow that'll leave this trailer. Then while I was over at Home Depot this morning, I happened to catch a tool sale. And I thought, ah, well, well, well. So I really wanted, here is my cordless Sawzall. And I love it. It's the cordless version of my corded Sawzall. Now, I do love that corded Sawzall because you actually have two blade orientations. You have the horizontal and the vertical blade orientation that you do not have with this one. However, I have had my eye on this thing, which is that one-handed uh, Atomic Series mini... Uh, Sawzall, and it was on sale for $99. Now, it's just the bare tool, but I have a bunch of batteries, and so I'm cool with that. So I picked this up, and I am going to retire my corded back to the house in my little tool shop there, and or maybe uh, sell it to somebody. Uh, I know a couple of kids who are getting into the contracting business, and maybe they'll want it. So there we go. And also... While I was over there picking this one up for $99, I got that for $99 as well. And this is actually a kit. It actually comes with uh, probably a 2 amp hour battery or maybe less at this point. And it comes with a small charger. A charger, again, I do not need. I have chargers out the wazoo, if you would. But... 99 bucks, I get an extra battery, why not? And those small batteries actually do last for a while. That will go up there and that's uh, all the uh, sanding pads I have for an orbital. Now I do have a cordless 
uh, palm sander right here, and I have a corded palm sander. In actuality, I have two cordless palm sanders, and I have one of those mouse sanders as well. So one of these is going to get retired out of this trailer today, and so I'll have a cordless and a corded. And for the cordless uh, orbital, that'll go up here, and I am retiring my corded orbital. And I, well, of which I actually have two of these. One uh, wore down the pad on the bottom, and I never bothered to replace it. But uh, I have two of these. I can actually get that other one fixed. And I will retire them and probably hold on to them until I just realize, you know what? I haven't used these in two years. And if I haven't used them in two years, why not? And to be honest, I don't think I have used this in two years. So, wow, you know. Also, while I was kind of meandering around, I checked batteries. I do have a few, uh, just a couple of 18 volt tools left. I have two drills and a driver and a, uh, 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 an 18 volt flashlight. And so I have this double charger. I have a single charger in the back and I have a single charger inside the house. And I've had some batteries just going bad on me. I've had them for 10 or 15 years now. And so I'm just one last time, I'm multiple, you know, hitting multiple chargers to see which batteries work. And I know that this battery just will not charge anywhere no matter what I do to it. And so that one's going away. Uh, I'm going to recycle it, of course. It says recycle me there, and I'm going to recycle it. Also, I'm going to retire my Stanley tape measure because... It has been through the war with me, and so, you know, with the way this thing is looking, I think it's time to retire it. All right, well, that's what I'm doing. I am just basically going to open these tools and get them all prepped and ready to go and get them in the cubbies and then clean out the tools that I don't need. I also have pulled a metal cutoff blade for grinder which is relatively brand new. Uh, this thing I was able to get in not too long ago when I was doing a tile job and I wanted to use a grinder for uh, cutting tiles. So I did and I loved it. So now I have a metal cutoff wheel and what I'm going to do is I am going to go into my PEX. And in my half inch PEX, I have a number of fittings that uh, I've taken off of PEX, jo PEX jobs, like uh, the caps that you use and elbows and things like that. And I'm going to reclaim them, cut the cinch clips off with the metal grinder. So that's what I'm doing. So it's kind of just tool recovery day, I guess. And I have the blower ready to go so I can blow off some tools. Uh, so I've got the compressor ready to go. All right, well, that's what I am doing here in the trailer today. So there you go. Not quite all put together, but I'm working on it. Okay, thanks a lot, folks.